New details tonight that could heat up a cold case, the murder of a teenage girl inside her Northwest Miami-Dade home 11 years ago. For the first time, we're hearing from the still grieving mother of the victim. She spoke to CBS 4's Peter Dench. Very, very precious and, you know, and I miss her a lot. Delcia Oliva cherishes the memories captured in this video of her daughter's quince, her 15th birthday party. She dreamed of becoming a doctor or a nurse. She was only my baby and, you know, and, um, and I miss her every day, every day. Every, every, every day. Oliva has thought of her daughter every day since she was stabbed to death inside their Colonial Acres mobile home in September of 2004. Every time when I go to somewhere where I go to her, you know, I remember her. Delcia was her only child. It's so difficult. It was only one, one baby. I don't have no more babies. Oliva last saw her daughter watching TV late at night. Oliva left for work the next morning. A few hours later, her husband, the teen's stepfather, Raul Mata, told police he left home for 90 minutes. And when he returned, he made the chilling discovery and called 911. We need someone to come here. My daughter, my daughter, somebody kill my daughter. The stepfather and Oliva have since separated. He's moved to California. Police say he is a suspect but he denied any involvement in the death. I do believe that there is at least one individual out there that can uh, shed some light. Robert Miller is a lead detective. I take this case personal because, you know, this is a young, vibrant 16-year-old girl who's in the prime of her life. Delcia's mother prays someone will come forward. Talk, you know, to help me to, to be, you know, to help me to, to justice, to come out, you know, all the truth. Police tell us the murder weapon was never recovered, but there are some leads. New items are being tested because of advances in DNA technology. If you can help police with this case, call them or Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. In Northwest Miami-Dade, Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.